One of the things that we were looking to do was to try and identify where different companies were at um, in terms of the sort of journey to maturity um, in analytics. And you know, recognising that it is a, a, you know, a journey, it's, it, it's probably quite hard to start at the end. It would be quite hard to probably to persuade your leadership teams to invest in something right at the end. You, know, that, you, you would be a very good salesperson, I think, in terms of generating that kind of belief. So in, in thinking about this in some kind of a maturity model, what we saw was that some um, organisations were starting at the phase which we called initial. We started off by conducting semi-structured interviews. Okay? So we spoke to HR leaders and HR practitioners about the topic. We did this across Singapore, Malaysia and Hong Kong. It's not rocket science to know that if, if you're going to link your analytic strategy and your HR strategy and to some extent your finance strategy, if you link it all together, you'll get more out of it. You'll get more value out of it. So of course what we found was those that were able to do this successfully, that were able to make these linkages to the business, were actually able to leverage what they were doing in the analytic space more and was actually able to apply it to real business uh, issues real business problems and be able to solve it.